The weather is getting better here in the Czech Republic, and so it's time to prepare for going out and recording some interesting sounds. I like doing my work as efficient as possible, but unfortunately I don't have a practical bag for all of my recording equipment. Well, let's go and make one, and of course it's going to be do-it-yourself, and of course I'm going to spend as less money as even possible. So, what do I have to build a bag for? It's only rather basic equipment so far, but it's a lot. And here it is. Alright, so what do we have here? Um, it's a Zoom H5 with the tripod here. Then some windshields. You may have, you probably have seen my video producing them. Adhesive tapes. The adhesive tapes and um, the scalpel and the, the scissors. Um, the adhesive tapes I have with me, I want to take with me for these two contact microphones to um, fix them on, on surfaces like that. And I have even a third contact microphone which can be clipped. I have just glued it to these kind of tweezers. Then there are two microphones, neither of which are meant to, or were meant to record outside sounds, but for speech, human, human voice. This is a very old one, it's a Shure SV100 I bought millions of years ago for a theater project. This one I bought quite recently, it's a Behringer XM8500, also only for voice, originally. Um, I needed this for... Well, kind of a short, short theater thing here in the local theater. Then there are, there is the Zoom, um, Zoom 1 N, yeah, Zoom H1 N, sorry, um, diverse windshields or well, wind protections rather, um, rather cheap mic um, headphones to control the volume only, an additional head for the Zoom H5. Three lavalier microphones and three very small, very small three pots for the microphones and two short one meter microphone cables of this kind. And all of this has to go into one bag, probably two ones. I'm not so sure we will see in a practical way so that I can react fast and easy. Well, sometimes things are a lot easier than expected. Um, the main idea that I had was to, um, to use individual cases for some of the devices, which makes it easier to store them than into these two bags. Yes, two bags I'm going to use and uh, the zoom, uh, the additional zoom capsule, they will stay at home when I don't, when I haven't planned to use them. Okay, so let's have a look. Here we have the three lavalier microphones in individual cases. These cases are from old glasses here. Um, I, I don't know, I don't have the, um, let's say, the intention to throw away my old glasses. I have a lot of them. Probably I'm going to do some optical experiments with them later. But the cases, well, I won't need them for, the, for these glasses, so they are great for the lavalier microphones. Then in this box there are going to go these three contact, mic uh, contact microphones. In this box, as you see, the mechanical things, the tape, the scissors, the scalpel, and all, all of the three pots, even this one, which I'm using right now. Um, I have made it, made it a little bit stable, more stable inside using these, these stripes, these stripes here, 
which were which remains from the project before the sound booth. Um, let's go to this uh, to this bag. So, by the way, these things all go to this blue bag over there. I have put some of these sp kitchen sponges down and I have strengthened the bottom with additional cardboard. This one, I, it's a present from my wife some years ago. She gave it to me when I used to go biking more, more often. Here are the more, let's say, sensitive things, the things I have to take care of more. Um, first of all, the, uh, the Zoom H5, which I'm using right now, it's going into this original box and then inside the, uh, the uh, back. Here, the uh, Zoom um, 1HN, um, the, um, the foam, the foam protections here, the two, uh, two cables, the Shure microphone and the Behringer microphone here, as well as the windshields. The Behringer microphone came with this nice foam protection, additionally to this one. So now let me put things into it, into the bag. One, one thing, I will put labels on these cases. Um, the organization or the how I divided these things to these two bags, um, there's a reason for it. Here are the things, the uh, let's say the electronic things, the, re the recording things, and on top, as you will see later, on top will be these things I need, these equip parts of equipment I need more, more, uh, most often, so it will be definitely the Zoom H5. Okay, so let's go. I put, I take this inside and cover it with this foam. Then the Zoom H5, now empty at the moment. Then Zoom H1 beside it. And I can stuck this Shure microphone this way. And that made it a little bit more safety with the windshields. And I will close it here. And this these cables go in this department and the two windsh um, foam windshields go here. I, I can't do this because I need two hands and one hand is holding this camera. Well, and here I think I don't have to do this, at, I think it's clear. Yeah, closing and putting it into it, and it fits perfectly to this to this bag, and both are very comfortable, very comfortable to to carry. By the way, the costs of this uh, making and packing bags project are less than one dollar so far. I got the blue bag on a local um, on our local uh, local yard sale for twenty Czech crowns. And even if I hadn't already had the black bag, the second of these blue bags, just in another color, would have cost me 20 crowns more, all in all $1.80, therefore. I have labeled and packed everything, so let me show you the result now. Well, this is a waste bag. Plastic waste bag as well as this one as well as this small one. You may ask why. Well, I have always two of them in my pockets and uh, mostly in my trouser, trouser pockets. And why? Well, imagine this is not a table, but wet and dirty ground where you have to put things on. And this small one is the back. I can put this dirty back in before I carry it, uh, carry it to the next to the next uh, place to throw it away.
All right, so let's go for it. The windshields, the microphone, one of the foams here uh, I've put in to, to stabilize it. The small zoom, the big zoom, which is in action right now. And I don't think I have to... Oh, well, no, I'm not. The Behringer microphone. Let's put it back. Fast. Without any problems. First, first back. No, not really. Here are, sorry, I always forget where. Yeah, here it is. Here are the cables. And here are the other foam shields. Let's put it away. Let's take the mechanics, or not only mechanics, but the less sensible sensitive things, the piezos, adhesive tape, headphones, the mechanics and lavaliers. All right, here and inside there is an additional department where I have the batteries. The batteries. Well, that's it. Sure, the amount of things will grow in the future and I will have to use bigger or different bags. But for now and for a rather long time, I think I'll be probably perfectly happy with what I have.